you're set to download music on Apple Music. Now open up the Apple Music app. You can see I'm on an iPhone, but you can do the same steps on an iPad or Mac computer. Now there are a couple different options. Let's first just tap on library at the bottom right. And you can see if say, if you go into songs, these are all of the songs that you have saved. You can always download these. It works a bit different if you've already saved it versus if you've not already saved it. So if it's on this list, you can tap the three dots and then all you need to do is tap download. However, let's say it's not in that list. You're just browsing around the home or new and you wanted to go to a playlist and download this. The first thing that you will notice at the very top right is if you have it in your library, it will say download. But let's say delete this from my library. It won't have the download button. For whatever reason, Apple Music decided first you need to add that playlist or the song or album to your uh, library and then you can download it. So tap on the plus at the top right and then tap on the download button. This works the exact same if we're at a song. So let's say this song. You can see if I tap on a song here, start to play it and I love it and I wanted to download this song. At the top right, I can tap on those three dots. First, I need to tap on add. And then if I tap on it, I can tap on download. Again, after you've done all of that, you'll be able to access all of those downloaded photos and videos or uh, songs rather by tapping on library and then downloaded and then downloaded. And you'll be able to see all of the offline listening songs that you have downloaded.